Like cool in the game to bring you out of a funk, baby. I'm telling you. Oh, uh, here's another one. Uh, Prince, 1999 featuring Little, Little Red, Red Corvette. Corvette. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> baby, you run too fast. <laughs> Why are you guys so crazy about these things? I use them to sweep up the trash. <laughs> no, 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 sweetie. These right here are classics. Mm -hmm. See, you may look and you may listen, but you are never to touch. Mm -hmm. You may be my child, but these are my babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's serious. I caught him trying to nurse them one time. Hello? OK. Uh, Daddy, is Gabrielle Pride. Ooh! The March 1999 centerfold Gabrielle Pride, whose hobbies include reading, Long walks in the rain and bouncing naked on a pogo stick? Oh, I've bounced naked on a pogo stick before. Really? No, but it's not too funny when your daughter does it, huh? Oh, Get up. You're playing all the time. <laughs> hey, girl. Have her bring a friend. Uh, can't. Won't. Try me next month. Peace. But, babe, I'm free. Baby, I'm free. <laughs> You just turned out Gabrielle Pride. Wayne, I have sworn off women, bruh. You know, between Nicole thinking she was pregnant and Tanya with all her drama and women who just want a piece of the flat at man, you know, I, I've had my fill of the opposite sex. It's time for Flex Washington to find out what it's like to be single and unattached. Yeah. Flex, look at me, dog. This is what it looks like. Not pretty, is it? Oh. Sometimes in the snow. When there's nobody around uh, oh yeah. I'll be there to think and then What a true love we are born Can't nobody break this bond yeah. Yeah. One on one Now we haven't found yeah. One on one yeah. One on one So I asked Shaq What did you use as a cast on that big toe? A trash can? <laughs> this is Flex Washington signing off. Flat at. And we're clear. Flat at back at you. <laughs> I just landed you an exclusive with Rochelle Harvey, the queen of the WNBA. I thought she hated the press. What, you got some kind of voodoo going on? <laughs> if I did, your head would be the size of a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> Flex, this is her first interview in a year, and she requested you, so you should start figuring out now how you gonna thank me. How about this? Uh, thank you. That's it? No cheesy come-ons, no sexual innuendos, no, instead of a thanking, how about a spanking? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Stacy, Stacy, I'm sorry, but I put myself on a female diet. Like the great Bob Marley, I say, no woman, no cry. <laughs> Washington has sworn off women. <laughs> That's like Bill Clinton swearing off cigars. Do you care to put your money where your potty mouth is? Oh, Flex, $500 says you won't even last three days. Oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Flex, have you met our new makeup artist, Dominique, from France? <laughs> Bonjour. I'll be, uh, touching you up to there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, bye-bye. All, right, all right, go on, girl. Come on, go on, bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> well, there's plenty more where that came from. I don't know, girl. I'm feeling kind of strong, you know? <laughs> that French accent used to be one of my biggest turn-ons, but today it just sounded like two cats dancing on the dumpster. Really? But dis-moi, Flex, qu'est-ce que tu veux que je fasse? J'ai très, très envie d'être avec toi maintenant. Nothing. Six, seven, eight. Possum pride. Possum pride. This is how we always ride. Hit them hard. Hit them often. Put them in a lead line coffin. So let's work on the moves. Jam.
Janet or Brittany? Girl, Janet. Anybody who can make it out of that family is all right by me. <laughs> Let's relive the 80s. Gonna be a stone cold groove. Yeah. Next dog, you home? Um, Dwayne, you, you, you're not gonna tell my daddy that we scratched his record, are you? Oh, the tears of a child. And yet, I feel nothing. <laughs> Please, Godfather, protect me from his wrath. My daddy is such an angry man. I will do you this one favor. <laughs> but I must ask for something in return. It is spring cleaning time in my basement. Wait, wait, wait. You want us to clean a basement? I happen to live down there. Dwayne, I'm sorry, but we will not do that. I think we're just gonna take our chances with my dad. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Oh, hey, Flags, dog, what's up, man? Hey, how'd you like to spend the evening listening to some old school jams, you know? Commodores, Earth, Wind, and Fire, yeah. Rick James, Cool, and the Gang. <laughs> oh, cool. You buy the pizza, and I'll get my Prince jeans with the butt cut out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what? You know what? On the other hand, you know, these songs are just tired. Let's, uh, let's watch Gladiator and count the beheadings. Oh, shoot, man, I love that line in the opening of the movie. A people should know when they are conquered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I think they do. Bonjour, Monsieur Flex. Good to step in, Dominique. Girl, I tried. All right, Stacy, you can call off your hired hoochies. <laughs> because I'm about to make you $500 lighter. Ah, uh, you still got two more days, Flex. There's no way you're keeping that horse in the stable. <laughs> your metaphor, and stop looking, <laughs> is way off the mark, because I am female-free and more focused than ever. See, all up in here, focus. Oh, Rochelle, hi, Stacy Morgan. Did I give you the wrong date for the interview? No, I was next door shooting a commercial. So I came by to meet the flat dap man. <laughs> hey, well, that's me, half flat, half dap. Well, I'll leave you two alone, seeing as you've broken the ice. <laughs> By the way, cash only, tens and twenties. <laughs> uh, since you're here already, how about we go over a few questions for tomorrow's interview? Uh, actually, I gotta get back to the shoot, but I'll be available tonight in my hotel room. Uh, sure, I'll call you there later. Oh, don't call me. Be there. I don't want to hear your breath over the phone. I want to feel it blowing in my face. Ooh. I feel so cheap. <laughs> Welcome to my little piece of heaven where Dwayne Odell Knox dreams of a better world. Well, I hope your better world is stocked with odor eaters, because this place smells like feet. No, no, no. I think it's cool. Kind of reminds me of my room. Of course, I'm 15. Wayne, you out here, voices? Are you entertaining a lady friend? Uh, no, Ma, but just some day laborers I picked up outside of Home Depot. Uh, uh so what do you want us to do, Dwayne? Clean, disinfect, call the health department? <laughs> no. Nope. We're giving these walls a little makeover. <laughs> goodbye, rustic paneling. Hello, purple rain. Baby, goodbye, Dwayne, and hello, bus 17, back home. <laughs> yeah, I only paint my nails and my eyes. Well, uh, based on what I've seen of your work, we're gonna put you on cleanup detail. <laughs> oh, man, we're out of here, right? Come on, girls, you can't play us like this. Ah, uh, good point, good point. I can't play you just like Flex can't play his records. Let's set up, let's set up, let's set up. <laughs> Stacy, I'd like to give this Rochelle interview to another reporter. I just can't interview extremely tall women. I, I believe it's in my contract. <laughs> you are so transparent. I can see your heart just beating in line. This is a WYNX exclusive flex. You have to do this interview. She wants you. That's exactly my point. She doesn't want flex the reporter. 
She wants Flex the Mattress Mambo King. <laughs> I know what this is about. This is about the $500, isn't it? No, Flex. Occasionally, the lead anchor has to put his butt on the line. I did, and they got pinched. <laughs> Are you saying you have no self-control? No, I'm saying she doesn't. And she's bigger than me. <laughs> Flex, look, I think you're selling yourself short. I think you can go over to that hotel, get the scoop, and leave with your dignity and your drawers on. You really think I can pull that off? Who cares? Either way, I win. So. <laughs> oh, Spirit, Spirit, hey, Spirit, girl, come on now. Paint that corner like you paint your lips. Three to five coats. <laughs> Arnaz, boy, quit looking at Brianna's butt and start painting. And Brianna, start moving your butt. It's getting a little droopy. How do you fit all that evil into such a stumpy little body? Bring, bring that bird up. I want a ball of bones for some gravy. You just had to play that record, didn't you? Oh, relax, Bree. We're gonna relive the 80s. It's gonna be a stone cold groove. Well, I wasn't the one who scratched the record, Miss, you know. <laughs> Cross and pride. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, I did. Uh huh. Girl, yeah, he did. Well, yeah, I did. Oh. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> Well, yes, I did. Uh -huh. Now look what y'all done did. Y'all know y'all look stupid. Oh, oh. oh my bad. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look like Barney the dinosaur threw up in here. There best not be none of this horseplay when you're painting upstairs. What? <laughs> Mama liked the color so much, she wants you to paint the whole house. Oh, I've never been so exhausted in my short, increasingly unhappy life. I gotta take my grandma's stone pills for my back. Oh, I close my eyes, no, I see it's purple. Now I know how my dad felt in the 70s. <laughs> I know there's a story behind all this, but I'm dealing with a tough interview right now, so remind me to punish you for whatever you did later. Hey, what are you doing? I need a song to pull me out of this funk. Celebrate good times, come on! We need a distraction. Right, right, something that'll really throw him. I love you, Arnaz, take me! Girl, I know. I was upset with Dwayne for years for scratching this record up. Uh, Dwayne? Uh, it's a Dwayne scratched it up at his bar mitzvah. That's why I have to put the quarter on top of the needle. OK, everybody, bow your heads, because the little man going to die. <laughs> Okay, Flex, you're a reporter with a job to do. Do the job, not the woman. Do the job, not the woman. All right. <sighs> Hello there. Well, look at you. All of you. <laughs> are you gonna come in, or are you just gonna stand out there looking all pretty? Uh, no, thank you. Those little bubbles always go right to my head. <laughs> oh, those lucky bubbles. <laughs> well, I got a whole bunch of questions. Hundreds. So many questions, so little time. So, uh, how's about we get started? Hmm. Good idea.
fire away. Okay. Um, so we'll talk about your shooting style. Your release is uh, quicker than any other player out there. <laughs> well, what can I say? I'm good with my hands. Bow! 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 You want to play strip basketball? Uh, actually, it's a little chilly in here. Oh, I know how to get the blood flowing. It's a little Oh, God bless you. <laughs> Stacy told me you had a weakness for the language of love. Montrez-moi ta faiblesse. Oh, please, I'm just a man. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Daddy. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I thought that we might talk about the Olympics, and oh, you bit me. <laughs> Don't fight it, Flex. Go for the gold. Oh, oh. I know you're the first woman to dunk, but I'm about to slam you, baby. <laughs> no, no, no. I came here to put a story together, a story that I thought you finally wanted to tell the world through me. No, I just heard a rumor around the league that you're easy, so I decided to come on down and give me a helping. Easy? Who, who said I'm easy? Everybody, the word around the league, if you're ever in Baltimore and you need a little temporary relief, call Flex. <laughs> hey, man, you women talk like that? Worse, I'm just dumbing it down for you. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? I'm not a little plaything for you and your big-handed sisters. <laughs> oh, goodness. Flex! Stop it! Put those things away! <laughs> You're day laborers. It's night. We found you the one who scratched the record. Ooh. Yeah, uh, you know what? You all look beautiful. <laughs> Why don't you, uh, take this 50 bucks and uh, buy yourself some pudding pops or something? Go on now. <laughs> Good job. Who are you talking to, Cookie Toes? <laughs> Your dad's boss. <laughs> you know what? This... <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Um, see, Stacy just came over to, uh, you know, borrow a cup of sugar. Yeah, a big old cup of brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, cookie toes. Uh, Bree Bree, sweet little girl. You, you're not going to tell your, your father about this, are you? Yeah, because he might have a problem with his best friend and his boss hooking up, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So many secrets, so much betrayal, so many ways it could backfire on him. Uh -huh. All right, all right, let's cut to the chase, demon child. What do you want? Let's just say, the world. Flex, <laughs> what do you mean you lost the interview? This is too huge to lose. You know, you've gotten a lot more naked for a lot less in the past. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How'd you know that? You want me to get some sort of newsletter? Actually, it's a hotline. 1-800-EASY-FLEX. <laughs> Now, listen, I wanted the interview, too, but my self-respect is more important than my career. Now, give me my money. I had such high hopes for you. Yeah, well. <laughs> so, uh, how was your night? What? What, what do you mean? Why, what, what do you know? <laughs> Nothing. I was just trying to be friendly. Yeah, well, I have enough friends. Just keep it business, Buster. <laughs> uh, Rochelle. Rochelle. Flex, I think I owe you an apology. Uh, forget it. I don't think that bite mark is gonna leave a scar. Look, my fiancé broke up with me last week, and I guess I was on the rebound. Plus, you are pretty hard to resist. <laughs> Girl, I know. <laughs> I look in the mirror every day. <laughs> anyway, if you still want the interview, I'm ready to pour out my soul. Well, let's get to pouring. Uh, why don't you he head down the hall and make up, and I'll, and I'll meet up with you. Au revoir. Too sweet. I got my money. I prove that I'm strong. Oh, Rochelle. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? 
says moi. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for taking us to the mall, driver. My pleasure, Miss Brianna. And what might be our next destination? We'd like to go to the Piggly Wiggly. Very good, Miss Brianna. The Piggly Wiggly it is. What exactly is the Piggly Wiggly? I don't rightly know, but we're gonna go there and sit a spell. I said, I sure hope they have fried green tomatoes. I have a feel for hunger. Miss Brianna, if it makes you know, never mind. May I pull over to the side of the road and make water? <gasps> you will hold your water and keep your eyes on the road. Very good, Miss Brianna. No making water. Looking back on it, that white lady was a whole lot nicer. <laughs> Your eyes are like two arrows, and my heart is your bullseye. Oh, you like my robin in the hood. <laughs> oh, look at that. You are two people. What do you want, Arnez? Well, for one, to be able to walk down this hall without losing my lunch. Oh, speaking of Upchuck, where's Ginger? I don't know. I'm my own man. <clears throat> Try it on sometime. And Brianna, aren't you supposed to be at cheerleading practice? I'm going. I'm going. Hmm. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. Get that out of here. <laughs> hey, wait. Um, uh, excuse, excuse me, where y'all going? We're supposed to have practice. We did, Captain No Show. <laughs> where have you been? This is the third time this week I've had to fill in for you as captain. I can't keep it up. The seniors can smell the fear on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. I was just hanging out with Josh. You know what? You two spend way too much time together. No, we don't. No. You just you said what, what I said. Jinx, you owe me a kiss. kiss. You don't owe me a kiss. <laughs> oh, please. Sometimes in the slide, you can feel all by yourself. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. I'll be there. You're the fool, all right? Because even Moses had to pay taxes. Why do you think you left Egypt? I can think of 10 good reasons why. <laughs> all I'm saying is, Uncle Sam ain't no kin to me. My uncle is a black man and a much better dresser. Hey, man, the only way a free society runs is if we all pay our taxes. Mm -hmm. But what are you guys complaining about? I pay more taxes than you guys bring home all year. <laughs> hey, man, I, I got an alarm system. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We appreciate your business. Thank you. All right. Hey, Flex. Nice of you to watch the child for your dad while he took your mom away for their anniversary. What can I say? I'm a good son. Mm-hmm. Forget to get them a gift. And that. <laughs> oh, Flex, man, I think it's sweet that your pops are taking your mom away for a nice little romantic getaway. But he's a lucky man. Your mom has a remarkable lack of cellulite for a mature woman. <laughs> You better take that back. Oh, my bad, dog. Your uh, mama's thighs look like she sat in gravel. Thank you. Thanks for coming, Mr. Parsons. Have a good weekend. Okay. All right, Mr. Parsons. Good to see you. Come yeah. back in here. Bye, guys. All right, now Bye. take care. Why'd you let that freeloader leave without paying? Your dad lets him slide because he's on a fixed income. That's no way to run a business. You got to be tough, like Martha Stewart. Ooh. <laughs> now, she may be a criminal, but that woman worked hard to turn a profit. So what would you know about working hard, Mr. Uptown? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, I'm just saying, you may know how to apply your blush for the camera, but this is a real business, not show business. Ain't no uh, cue cards up in here. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my line? Where's my line? <laughs> See, I can run this business. I went to college. Oh. oh. He went to college. Make him president. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about it, Flex. I got your back. You know, I'll make you look good in front of your dad, but as senior barber, I'll really be running things. You? 
do I have to remind you that this place used to be called Richard and Sons, not Richard and some brother named Malik? Uh, so let me get this straight. You're gonna drive your fancy car down here. You know we don't have ballet, right? <laughs> and, and you're gonna get your hands dirty doing some real work. Yo, Fleck, I don't think you know how hard it is to do what we do. <laughs> Pumpkin? Spirit, what are you doing here? Uh, we were supposed to work on cheers. You do remember cheerleading, right? You know, the short skirts, tight sweaters, female objectification. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> okay, you know there is such a thing as too much practice, right? Oh, well, then your lips must be ready to turn pro. Oh, Brianna. My lips are cold. Ah, Spirit. Hey, didn't know we were expecting you. Oh, well, I didn't know we were expecting you, but if you hook us up with a slice and some of that Sididi soda, we'll be cool again. Uh, okay. Well, maybe you should get yourself a plate so you don't get your hands greasy on the way home. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, you put all the pepperoni into the shape of a heart. Oh, and I burnt my finger on each one. Oh. You, you, you know I'm losing my appetite. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna just take a piece to go. B bye. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and that too, okay? All right. Three, five, five over two, five, six. Look at him. College boy, came count. <laughs> you know what this is? It's a conspiracy against the black man. White man always trying to keep us down. <laughs> uh, Malik, he's, uh... He's black, man. <laughs> That's what we've been led to believe. But who's to say he's not just a very sophisticated hologram? They came up with a lot of stuff in Desert Storm. You have tripped right off the edge of crazy. Now, Flex has always been fair, and I will stand by him to the end. I don't believe this. This cash register is as empty as your heads. Ah, the end is near. <laughs> Can anybody tell me how we managed to pay rent around here when we've only cleared $200 today? $200? Oh, it's Miller time. Okay. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, you guys know that sub shop that used to be the video store before it used to be the police station? <laughs> well, it's a barber shop now. <laughs> Slow fade. They take your time so you can look fine. You hear that, people? Now, we need to step up our game. Ooh, I'm saying you need to jump up your game. They even got a guy who just opens the door for you. <laughs> I walk by three times just to mess with them. <laughs> you know what? We need to stand up to Slow fade quickly. We need to show them who controls Baltimore's hair. Now, come on, who's with me? All right, let me restate that. Who wants to keep their job so they can pay their rent and not live in bum town? We're with we're you. We're with you. I can't hear you, what you say? We're with you. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now we're a team. A team that's gonna take fat heads into the 22nd century. Of course, we have to make a few changes. What kind of change? Little itty bitty ones. <laughs> Rule number one. You must wear the uniforms. Love them. No more baggy clothes and no more jeans. No more self-respect either. Rule number two. No fraternizing with the customers. You are here to cut and snip, not chat and chit. Which means no more conspiracy theories. No OJ updates and above all, Leave poor Michael Jackson alone. His nose or lack thereof is his business. Come on, Flex. Mixing it up with the customers is the foundation of the barbershop. This is no longer a barbershop. This is no longer Fatheads. This is Chez Fate, a style chalet. Say it with me. Chez Fate, a style chalet. Excuse my ignorance, Mr. Boss Man, but uh, what exactly is a style chalet? Uh, it's a vision I had while eating French fries. <laughs> <laughs> a place where you can go for a haircut and feel like you're going on vacation. Hey, Mr. Parsons. <laughs> Which leads us to rule number three. No more free haircuts. <laughs> now, why'd you go and do that? We can't have unsavory types up in here. It might alienate our clientele. Mr. Parsons is not unsavory. Flex, you can't keep doing this. You want to put us out of business? No, I want to put us in business. 
Yeah, well, I think your ideas are whack. And so would your father. Look, Richard may be a lot of things, but he'd never have us looking like Team Boy ID. <laughs> Look, it's very simple, Malik. I make all the decisions around here. Is that so? Oh, that's very so. And if you don't like it, it's my way or the highway. Are you firing me? Call it what you like, Monsieur Malik. <laughs> but just get to driving. Sacre bleu! <laughs> Anybody else want to get in the carpool lane with Malik? <laughs> Shows how much he know. Malik don't have a car. <laughs> <laughs> down if you have to. Okay. <laughs> Do you even hear yourself anymore? Ernest, don't be jealous. Green is not a good color on you. It makes you look jealous. First off, I'm not jealous. I have a girlfriend, but I still make the time to run with my boys. Yeah. Run with your boys? Who are you, DMX? <laughs> Who are you? You're ignoring everybody these days? It's like you're in a cult, like Joshontology. <laughs> You're a Trekkie. Live long and get lost. Bree, bad news. Oh, no. Matt Damon called. He wants his everything back. <sighs> My dad just called. My grandma broke her hip open in a jar of pickles. We got to go to Pittsburgh to help her. Wait, you're leaving? For how long? For two days. But I promise I'll call you every five minutes. Every four on nights and weekends. Anyways, my dad's out front. I'll miss you. Me too. You look like you could use a shoulder to cry on. Uh-huh. Tough. <clears throat> I gotta say, young lady, with that new dude of yours, Halle Berry better move her narrow behind over because there's a new Bond girl in town. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, flat ass. <laughs> Ah, another satisfied customer. Pretty soon, slow fade's gonna just fade away. <laughs> I'm a genius. You genius. You've got toilet paper under your shoe, college boy. <laughs> Man, Flex, this is starting to get dangerous. A few minutes ago, a bitter wind kicked up and I was airborne for half a block. Man, when I landed, three guys tried to beat me up. Man, I don't think I want to wear the beret anymore. It's trade bad, Flex. People don't like the French. With, with all the money we're making, I'll buy you a helmet. Well, Flex, it's not about the beret bangers, man. It's about the barbershop. I, I miss it. We all miss it. Yeah, we I really do. It. I mean, it's oh, silence, silence, you fools. Cha -cha -cha -cha. <laughs> we're doing good business. We rang up almost $1,000 in one day. That feels good, doesn't it, Candy? Candy? Oh, <laughs> I didn't know I was allowed to talk. Man, this place used to be fun. Now it's like an old folks home. Without the faint smell of cabbage. Fun? You know what's fun, huh? Hey, what fun is? Fun is proving all of you who thought I couldn't run this business wrong. But I'm a big enough man not to rub it in your face. I rub it in mine. <laughs> you were right, bless you. <laughs> owns the world, she thinks she's the one spinning it right on the tip of her day glow acrylic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey y'all. Uh, who who y'all talking about? Don't worry about it. You haven't met her yet. Oh. Ooh, french fry. Anyway, so Lynn told me that Jasmine told her that Frank said it's infected. I told her not to get that belly button ring. Okay, so why does Crystal have Ricky's name tattooed on her ankle? Once they break up, that girl's in boots for life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, who's Crystal? Um, the new girl, transferring from South High, threw up at Stan's party. <laughs> okay, well, I got it. <laughs> skip over, skip over. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Stan had a party? Yeah, last week. Ja Rule came by and signed autographs. Check it out. Ooh, Brandy, you haven't bathed in a week? <laughs> None of us have. <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah. Stan throws great parties. <laughs> Wait, who's Stan? Hey, y'all. Hey, Mike. Well, 
Look who's headed back for his job back. Man, I do not need your job. I am working at Slow Fade, where they treat the barber as an artiste. And if I had a car, I'd have my own parking space. <laughs> what do you want, Malik? I'll just stop by to pick up my final check. Oh, well, look what I have here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this laundry fee? That's right. You think towels and smocks just wash themselves? A disposal fee? You think hair just throws itself away? <laughs> A termination fee. People just don't fire themselves. Flex, your pops will never treat us like this. Is that so? Yeah, you know what? This is whack. Malik, they hiring over at Slow Fate? Yeah, are they? I don't know, but I can put in a good word for y'all. Candy, let's go. Let's go. Let's roll. Fine. Yeah. You can roll, you can rock, you can hip, you can hop. I don't care what you do, just leave. I don't need y'all. So, uh, what you gonna do now, Flex? Hair doesn't just cut itself. <laughs> Hey, Brianna. Got you a bucket, too, huh? Your day must have been as tough as mine. What's wrong? Nothing. Baby, you got four biscuits. It must have been tough. No one likes me anymore. You know what? What's the name of my imaginary friend when I was a kid? I need to give her a call. What do you mean no one likes you anymore? All my friends are gone. They all abandoned me, even spirit. Even ate all the French fries. Oh, sweetie, Daddy will get you some more fries. It's not just that. It's I've lost touch. I'm so out of the loop. I used to be the loop. Come on now. Did your friends abandon you, or did you abandon your friends? Okay, so I spent a little time with Josh, missed a couple of social events, and I'm the only one who's bathed. <laughs> Daddy, what am I gonna do? Well, keep bathing. Uh, sweetie, let me tell you a little story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a young boy about your age who was madly head over heels in love with a neighborhood girl named Nicole. Let me guess, Daddy. Was that little boy you? Very good, honey. I'm lonely, not done. Anyway, I was so in love with your mom that my best friend Dwayne wanted to go to the roller rink and I couldn't go because I was too busy taking your mother to the movies. And then when he broke his arm and was in the hospital, I didn't go see him because I was with your mom getting matching jerry curls. <laughs> and after all this time, your mother and I divorced and Dwayne is still in my life. Do you see where I'm trying to go with this? No matter how badly you treat Dwayne, you can't shake him? <laughs> well, there's that. Uh. But more importantly, sweetie, boyfriends and girlfriends, they come and go. But good friends, good friends, are forever. Daddy, I didn't mean to diss them. I guess I didn't realize how much I needed them till they were gone. I guess I have some apologizing to do. You know what? So do I. Are you sure you bathed? Daddy! No, I'm thinking you smell like... I did! Like... Lex, we need to talk. I think you should turn the shop back. I'm way ahead of you, D. Oh, Grease Lightning, Flex. You stole my thunder. Man, what are you talking about? Well, I was going to tell you that you need to change it back. I had a whole big speech planned and everything. Was it about how foolish I was and how I didn't appreciate the friendships I had here and, and the importance that the barbershop had to the community. Well, there you go again. Matt, did you take a peek at my laptop? <laughs> nah, I did. Hey, Mr. Parsons, come on in. Well, I'm glad to see things are starting to get back to normal. <laughs> now, what you need to do, you need to hire back Candy. I'm a little... Hey, Dwayne. Listen, I know money, man. Oh, man, you did look at my laptop. <laughs> did you tell anybody about my Britney Spears screensaver? I'm gonna kill you. Flex, I was telling them in the back. Flat taxes across the board, that's the way it should be done. Y'all, like I said, taking 17% from a millionaire is not the same as taking 17% from my salary. Like, that's just not fair. What you need to do, Walt, is declare yourself an illegal alien. Something exotic, like you're Cuban Chinese. Malik, that's just stupid. Candy, why I got to be stupid? Stupid? Who 
are you calling stupid? Hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hold on. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to tell me that I'm stupid. I like this sound, man. The sound of the barbershop. Man, I was going to say that. I need to change my pen number, because you're all in my business. Wait, I need to talk to you. Oh, can I wait till tomorrow? Me and some of the girls are gonna go to the mall. Well, were you gonna ask me to go? Oh, Josh must still be out of town. Come on, let's go. Spirit, wait. Look, I think that you were right. Maybe I do spend a little too much time with Josh. You don't say. Come on, girl, I'm trying to apologize here. My relationship with Josh has not only caused me to lose focus in cheerleading, but as a friend of you, too. So... I'm sorry. I understand. You're my girl. I knew you'd come back. Let's go get an orange Julius. Cool. <laughs> Rihanna, I've been looking for you. Hey. I'm back. And it's ladies' night at the Bolorama. Ladies' ball free. And I got my mom's wig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like so much fun. Wait. But maybe some other time. Look, Josh, I know this is going to be hard, and please don't take this the wrong way. But tonight... I'm going to the mall with my girls. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that was a little too easy. I'm about to go have a talk with him. <laughs> After the mall. Man, I look good in camel. <laughs> of course, I look good in any animal. <laughs> yeah, camel's a pretty color. My girl says he loves camel. <laughs> Man, she's a lot like a camel. She can hold water for days. <laughs> uh, dog, if your girl hadn't called you, has changed her phone number and her address, she might not be your girl. <laughs> Lana is wearing a fierce mohair jacket with a pair of to die for Gucci shades. Can you say bling bling? <laughs> bling and bling. <laughs> no and no. <laughs> Forget everything else. I just have to have this purse. This is the Prada everybody has. Ooh, man, why buy Prada when you can go down to the bus station and get Frauda? <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, 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 uh, I was... <laughs> Rihanna, do you think my parents bought me an expensive purse like that when I was your age? I hope not. <laughs> you know why they did? Because I had to learn a little something called discipline. That's right. See, I took a part-time job, worked really hard, and then after saving my pennies, I was able to buy nice things. But, Daddy, that'll take forever. This purse is on sale now. Brianna, <laughs> if you use your head and be resourceful, one day you'll be easing on down the road to financial freedom. Now, you see that Dior shirt over there? I'm gonna buy two of them. You know why? Because I'm free. <laughs> Money makes you mean. Oh, girl, move out the way your dad dropped a nickel. <laughs> hey. Hold up. You might have to start calling me Dorothy because it looks like I'm about to ease on down the road to financial freedom. Sometimes in the sky, you can feel all by yourself. Check, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody. Halloween. It's a night where you could just get wild and mm -hmm. howl at the moon. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, we can get wild up in here. We can play chambermaid and lord of the manor. Mm. Well, now that I look at those legs, you would look kind of cute in an apron and a feather duster. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I broke the vase. Please don't spank me, my lord. <laughs> well, I don't have time to discipline you, but... Go get your jacket, Fifi. Ooh, if you was gonna get physical, we should go as uh, uh, I can Tina. <laughs> oh, hi, Miss Clark. Hey, Brianna. Listen, your father and I are going to a Halloween party tomorrow night. Oh, you guys are going out tomorrow night. That's huge. I'm so happy for you. Okay. I didn't know you were so big on Halloween. No, it's your 30-day anniversary. Usually for Daddy, that's doomsday, not date day. 
What are you talking about? Well, all I'm saying is, usually on day 30, he calls with some lame story, like he has to enter the witness protection program. Ooh, on my personal favorite, he's framed for a crime he did not commit. Don't wait for me, baby. You gotta be free for the both of us. <laughs> I knew it. I knew he was working too hard for something. I mean, shedding a tear when we were watching Billy Elliot talking about all the child wants to do is dance. <laughs> Thanks for the warning, Brianna. No, no, it wasn't a warning. It was just a... Uh, I gotta go. I, I got. I got stuff. <laughs> bye, daddy. Bye, daddy. All right. Let's go get those costumes. Change of plans. Let's go as ourselves. You could be the thirty-day man, and I'll be history. Bye, bye. <laughs> Wait a minute. I just left the room for two minutes. What changed? Brianna. <laughs> Is it true that you don't date anyone for more than 30 days? Well... Yes or no, Flex? Technically, yes, because, you know, February is shortest month of the year. You know, I... You know... <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm saying... <sighs> Natalie, come on. I used to be like that, but this time with us, things are gonna be different. How so? I don't know. It just is. Look, Flex, I don't have time to play games. If you can't be in a real relationship, then we should just end this right now. Oh. So some other brother can get the jewel that I dropped? I think not. You're lucky I like corny. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Spirit, is it me or is Arnest's girlfriend's butt getting bigger? You know what? We should dress up as it for Halloween. I got dibs on the right cheek. Oh, because I don't even know what he's seeing that girl. Lord knows he can't see past her. Oh, wait, I'm losing you. I must be going through a tunnel. Oh. Here, ma'am. We drop, and if anything's on the floor, we gonna buy that too. <laughs> Wayne, come on, dog. Give up on Stacy. She gone. But, Flex, did you ever see that movie Not Without My Daughter? Well, not without my Stacy. I must find her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Um, um, hey. What's up? Um, um, hey, what's up with you? <laughs> Nothing. What you just put in your pocket? Nothing. Brianna, show me what you put in your pocket. Daddy, I told you, I didn't put nothing, see? All right, my bad. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. How you do that? Girl, I got a hole in my pocket. <laughs> that means we gotta buy some new pants, too. <laughs> Holla, darling! No. I mean, I can't believe we bought all this stuff. I thought we was just going down there to get you that purse. Well, that's all I really wanted until I saw the shoes that match. And if you buy the shoes, you gotta buy the belt. Okay, the belt, I understand. Did you have to buy the Gucci scuba gear? I mean, what you gonna do with that? I don't know. I can't swim, but I'm sure gonna look good drowning, though. <laughs> uh oh, here, Akmai. Thanks for the ride, and you put a little something, something in it for yourself. No cash? Uh, no, it's credit. It's like cash, but better. In taxi business, cash always better. I'll be right back. Oh, man, it's like Christmas up in here. Except it's Halloween. I can't wait to put on my costume. I appreciate all the gifts, but how you gonna pay for all this? <laughs> well, not that I plan on giving anything back. <laughs> you guys, I got this whole credit card thing figured out. All I have to do is intercept the bill each month and pay the minimum balance. It's the American way. <laughs> uh, now y'all gonna have to help me hire some of this stuff for my daddy, because it's the Brianna way. <laughs> Kids, kids, spoiled American children. <laughs> okay, fine, a little something, something for Ahmad. <laughs> yo, yo, hey, Flex! Flex! Ah. ah, that's a fine elf costume you got on. I'm Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> Have you ever seen an elf with a bow and arrow? Uh, yeah, tonight. <laughs> yeah, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna let you dog out my mood because all my efforts to find Stacy have finally paid off. Look, she wrote me a postcard. Why are you so happy? Man, can't you read? It says she's loving me forever. <laughs> Doug, it says she's leaving you forever. <laughs> well, man, that doesn't make any sense. Look, see, look, it says try to find me. <laughs> 
Move your thumb. Oh, don't try to find me. Oh, man. I'm hurting, dog. I should just throw myself in one of my arrows, man. Oh, Anyways. no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, man. We got a party to go to, and nobody likes a suicidal elf. <laughs> Ooh, holy maid Marion. What's that? Oh, this is my uh, 30 day anniversary gift for Natalie. 30 days is the aluminum anniversary. Man, women like gifts that come with a receipt, something they can return. Hey, man! Oh, Natalie's not like that. Natalie's special. And she's an artist. She loves this kind of junk. It's creative, it's cute. Oh, good Lord, and it might kill her. Uh -huh. Let's hit them all. Yeah, girl, I got three of them. You can never have too many. Hey, hey, Daddy, what you doing home? Are those crocodile boots? Is that a parrot on your shoulder? I get saucy, little one. Where'd you get the boots? Oh, no, these are real. I brought them from Spirit. They're part of my Halloween costume. I'm a supermodel, so I can't be seen with a pirate and an elf. I'm Robin Hood, Hallie Barely. <laughs> oh. Yo, D, uh, could you get my wallet? I left on the shelf by the door. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll be paying by charge. Excuse me while I fetch my Prada. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I can't find my card. Okay, which one of you guys took my credit card? Nobody took your card. Yeah, we haven't seen it since. Akamah. <laughs> I don't think I like it on the elf, but I like it for my baby. If the pixie is done playing dress up, I'll wrap it for you. Hey, man, do you think if I bought Stacy some jewelry, she'd still be around? Oh, I think if you hadn't introduced her to your mechanic, Evan, she might still be around. When he said, your girl needs a tune-up, I thought he was talking about the car, not Stacy. I'm sorry, sir. There's a problem with your card, and unfortunately, we don't accept doubloons. <laughs> Very funny. Just run it through again. It's probably been. You know, I have been having a good year. <laughs> well, you're about to have 10 to 20 bad ones. <laughs> See, this card has been reported stolen, and I have been ordered to destroy it. Stolen? Well, there must be some mistake. Cut. Cut. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, man, are you crazy? Dude, you can't just go cutting people's stuff up. What if I cut up your stuff? Huh? Like, uh -huh, like this right here. Uh-huh, cut, cut. Sir, cut, how cut. dare you? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Se security. Uh -huh. Oh, security? Oh, 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 don't make me come back there. Come back, come back, come back, 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 they steal my women! Come here! On the way to see his gal to prove he was more than a 30 day pound when he left to get her gift oh the wings have changed its shift tis the folly of flex and dwayne roamed in the dungeon on hallow wayne shut up shut up man the only reason i'm stuck in here not with natalie is because of you and your elf and temper <laughs> for the last time that's an elf. I'm Robin Hood, and you're a thief. I didn't steal a credit card, all right? There's obviously been some kind of mix-up. Oh, yeah, man. Prisons are filled with innocent men. Man, I'm innocent. Oh, man. There a problem here? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a problem. I'm in jail. See, uh, I have a big date with my girlfriend, right? Today's our 30 day anniversary, and uh, there's been a terrible mistake. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> Prisons are filled with innocent people. <laughs> That's what I said. I, I mean, don't I look familiar to you, huh? WYNX sports anchor? Wait, wait, wait. Flat out. Hey, hey, I don't go for that nasty talk. <laughs> Yo, Green Mile, I want my phone call. I know I get a phone call. Who are you calling? Rest of the village people? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. I want my phone call, too. 
Following behind him is what got you in this mess in the first place. Think about that, Slim. <laughs> Slim, huh? <laughs> You're too pretty to be in prison. <laughs> You've got delicate features, Robin Hood. <laughs> See, you get me. <laughs> you, uh, don't be careful, and you might turn Robin Hood into a merry man. <laughs> Hey, baby. Flex, you're two hours late. Uh, you are not gonna believe what happened to me. <laughs> uh, I I'm in jail. Oh, let me guess, for a crime you didn't commit. Well, guess what, baby, I ain't waiting for you. But I just... But nothing, go walk the plank, 30-day man. I'm not a 30-day man anymore. I know you have it, Akma. You were the last person that had it. I just want you to know that our report is stolen, and I hope you get arrested. Shame on you, Akma. Shame! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hello? I'm in jail. I, I was buying a gift for Natalie, and I got arrested. They think I stole a credit card. A credit card? And I need you to post bail. Hey! I said one phone call, Bluebeard. Call oh, Grandma! <laughs> I'm in the best relationship I've been in for the past five years. It... <laughs> and I'm not gonna lose Natalie because of some stupid misunderstanding. Okay, Kim, Spencer, Russo, you made bail. Hey, hey, I, uh, I wrote that sexy garden note. You mind proofreading it for me? And mate. Why does he get to be free? Oh, I'm not free. I'm a prisoner of love. <laughs> when I get free, I'm gonna find a sharp toothbrush and shank you. Hi, I'm here to post bail for Daddy! Thank God you're here, Bree. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out right now. Uh, hi, I'm Brianna Barnes. I'm here to post bail for Flex Washington. Barnes. Oh, I see your name right here. The credit card your father stole was yours? What? Uh, you know what, Daddy? We gonna laugh about this someday. How did you get a credit card? Well, I filled out the application. You said to be resourceful. Brianna, why didn't you tell me? Well, you didn't say nothing about telling you. <laughs> Daddy, I just had to have that Prada purse. I'm a slave to fashion. <laughs> to raise your bail money, see? Cashier's downstairs. Okay, don't worry. I'll have you and Dwayne out of here in 10 minutes. Make it five, because you're a dead girl walking. <laughs> All right, Mr. Washington. You are free to go. All right, Daddy, let's go home. Daddy's going home, but you're going up the river, Pop-Tart. What? <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Uh, what's going on here, huh? Why are you arresting my child? Because, sir, she sold goods bought on credit without a, uh... Retail license. That's right! Retail license. <laughs> we make a good team. Daddy, please help me. Don't leave me. I've been here, Daddy. Be strong, baby. I'm gonna get you the best lawyer money can buy. <laughs> What was that? Which part? <laughs> Daddy, I said I'm sorry. Please help me. Brianna, credit cards can get you in a lot of trouble. But, Daddy, I was going to pay off the balance at the simple minimum rate of $20 a month or at 2% of the balance or whichever is less. <laughs> Brianna, you're going to be paying for your little weekend shopping spree for the next 20 years. Credit card debt is not the road to financial freedom. You know what it is? 
No, Daddy. I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> it's a ticket to the bank. Uh-huh. The bank of Repsy. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, no, oh, hey. Uh, uh, Officer Justice, you can let it go. It's midnight. I gotta get to Nellie's before I turn into a pumpkin and prove to her that I'm not a 30-day man. Oh, I can't believe I have a record. How cool am I? Hey! <laughs> go on. I got this, dog. All right. I don't think she's learned her lesson. Get back in there, girl. Come on now. <laughs> Natalie, it's Flex. Natalie, I know you're in there, okay? I saw you watching me from the window. And I saw that hand gesture, too. Now that you're saying I'm number one, I'm offended. I'm sorry, little boy. I gave all my treats away to the other children. But really, I was in jail. See, here's my mugshot. You're incredible, Flex. What did you do? Spend three hours in Kinko's doing that? Buh bye <laughs> Did I hurt you? Nah, I'm all right. Then stick your finger back in. <laughs> Natalie, look. It's after midnight. It's day 31, not day 30, day 31. I mean, doesn't the fact that I'm here prove that I'm not running away from this relationship? What were you in for? Credit card mix-up. See, I was getting you an anniversary present. You would get me a present? Yeah, because the one I made you... You made me something. I guess Dwayne was right. I guess Dwayne was wrong. I mean, I I'm sorry that I ruined your Halloween. Mm -hmm. Now remember, I just got out of jail. I haven't seen a woman for a while. <laughs> Man, it says right here that P. Diddy made $150 million from Sean John. Everyone's getting paid starting their own clothing line. Eve, Gwen Stefani, Master P, Gary Coleman. <laughs> The what you talking about collection. Mm -hmm. You know what? We should start our own clothing line. Yeah, our own clothing line. Spirit, you can do the designing, and Arnez and I can do the selling. We'll call it Boo Boo. Buy us, buy us. <laughs> okay, Daddy, give us some money. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, Daddy, I'm serious. We want to start our own clothing line. Yeah, we're going to be millionaires, and I'm going to do the designs. What? With the way you dress? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, you're serious. Daddy, you always said that a person who aims at nothing has an easy target to hit at. Help us to stop. Why don't you aim yourself at a grammar book? <laughs> Hello? Hey, what's up, Pop? Oh, man. Can't I wait till I get off work? Oh, okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, enjoy Old Faithful. Oh, no, not Mom the Geyser. <laughs> Hey, Dwayne, you remember that list of complaints that the barbers gave me? Well, apparently, Candy sent a copy to my dad, and none of it can wait till I get off work. Okay, Daddy, back to me. I'm trying to tell you I believe I could fly. Sweetie, with the grades you get, I'm happy you can walk. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You three disgust me. This coming from a guy who brushes his teeth with his finger? <laughs> they say that success is 10% inspiration and 90% perspiration. And I don't see anybody up in here sweating. Except for me, I just came from playing a little basketball. <laughs> they let you play this time? I didn't say it was my sweat. <laughs> Look, let me explain capitalism to you tykes, all right? You guys have a great idea, but no capital. I have capital, but no idea. <laughs> now, how can I exploit, I mean, help you? <laughs> Delane, this money is wet. Now that is my sweat. Uh -uh. Sometimes in the snow, you can feel all by yourself. Yeah, one, two. But I have a partner, but I can't turn no one else. Uh -huh. So don't isolate yourself when there's nobody around. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I'll be there.
Flex, we can't keep working like this. Now, it's been six months since Flex has been in charge, and everything is just falling apart. You're right. Our towels aren't getting cleaned in a timely enough fashion. We're constantly running low on our supplies. And he still hasn't fixed that barber's chair. What barber's chair? <laughs> Yo, I say we go on strike until all our needs are met. Yo, how much money we got in that strike fund? The strike fund got absorbed by the Krispy Kreme fund. <laughs> which got absorbed by me. <laughs> well, when Flex gets here, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind and let him know that this is just all wrong. What's wrong? Poverty, world hunger, the Green Party, all wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with you, baby? Oh, uh, my backside's a little sore from a long distance butt kicking, thanks to that list you sent my dad. Hey, what happened to the chair, Walt? Man, I fell out of that chair and it messed up my neck. I can't move it. Feels like at least $2,000 worth of damage. <laughs> oh, there's your bookie. Where? Uh huh, that's what I thought. <laughs> Look, I know I've been letting things go around here lately, but things have been crazy at work ever since they hired that new sidekick, Holly. Oh, poor Flex. The little loco TV celebrity has two jobs and he can't handle it. Don't say that. I can handle it. You want to know why? Because I'm a Barnes. And what's the name of this shop? Fatheads. Fat heads. <laughs> Before that, people, it was called Barnes and Sons. Hello, I'm one of the sons. <laughs> this barbershop has been in my family for 50 years and I'm not letting it go down. Or well, my daddy's gonna be real mad at me. Will, what do you think of Spirit's new design? I call them Sprousers. Huh. <laughs> I like it. Pants with sneaker boots all in one. It's a little snug, but it does make my booty look good. <laughs> So, how much money do we have left over? Well, let's see. With threads, laces, and fabric, we're $10 over budget. But $10? No, no, we've got to shut the factory down and move to Mexico. Come on, vamanos, bingo! Wait, wait, calm down. You'll pop your pants. Okay, all right, here it is. All right. What we need to do is create a product that we can mass produce cheaply. All right? Now, I'm willing to plant a little more seed money, but you farmers need to make it grow. Somebody answer the phone. My toes are swelling. Hello? Dang, I missed it again. I hate this new phone. I can never find it when it's in my purse, and I don't have any pockets on my skirt. I have an easier time keeping track of my hat. Too bad your phone wasn't in your hat. <gasps> you go first. I got it. Shoes with coasters. So that when you put your feet on the table, you won't leave a ring with a drink. I thought for sure you were gonna say hats with pockets for your cell phone. <gasps> and the shoelaces are straws. <laughs> Makeup, hair, wardrobe, I'm here. Well, look who decided to show up for his floor clock broadcast. I'm sure you have an excuse that's as legitimate as the child my husband had with his mistress. <laughs> uh, I do. I had to handle some business. Uh, it's nothing for you to worry about. What's important is that I'm here and I'm ready to do my thing. Speaking of things, Where's Holly? <laughs> she's off putting together a story for your Flex file. She's on location at the Eastminster Dog Show. Oh, is she undercover as a silicone schnauzer? <laughs> Instead of making digs at Holly, you should be checking your copy. We've made some changes. Oh, I'll be fine. Look, I do sports three times a day. I just read the teleprompter. Well, much like your afternoon audience and my Botox injections, it's no longer working. Have a good show. Oh. 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 <sighs> Hello? Oh, Walt, I don't have time for this. Look, if you can't find a comb, use a fork, man. Ten seconds. Gotta go. And in five, four, three. The city of Baltimore threw a parade to honor its native son, Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> we Baltimoreans sure know how to party. <laughs> Open up! Then in NASCAR, driver Ricky Gill was critically injured in the sixth lap of a time trial. <laughs> Marching on to our next story, the Baltimore Ravens held tryouts for their beautiful cheerleaders today. <laughs> woof, woof, indeed! <laughs>
with this crop of beauties who'll be watching the game. <laughs> we'll be right back with scores and highlights after these messages. Way to go, Dan Rather. Not. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just witnessed 10 years of broadcast excellence under pressure, baby. <laughs> See, they can't teach that. No, but they can fire you for it. <laughs> this is why I came down here, huh? This? I came down here to fix the sink and it's just a clump of hair? <laughs> and you guys know I have a six o'clock broadcast. Why couldn't one of you have done it? Because it's nasty. And I don't think that's hair. Uh, <laughs> you know what, people? I'm not gonna be responsible for everything that goes wrong around here. Flex, you're the manager. Who else are we gonna call when stuff goes wrong? Yeah, manager, why don't you start managing? Oh, you want me to manage? Okay, I'll start managing. Ace, you're in charge of the towels and the barber capes. Candy, you handle the money. Walt, you're responsible for sweeping up around here. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, what, what am I responsible for? <laughs> you know what, there's an easy way to keep track of all this. I'm gonna make a chore chart. Chore chart? Yeah. Oh, man, that takes me back to my days in that foster home. Yo, can I get in charge of the smokes and whiskey? Cause I was good at that. <laughs> Guy, I'm surprised by now you haven't spanked my bottom and called me man candy. Uh, now I'm starting to understand why this is your third station in three months. I'm talking about the interview. What interview? The one with R&B sensation Anthony Hamilton. It's, it's my idea I thought of that segment, Celebrities Who Like Sports. I emailed you about it. Flex, if we're going to work together, we need to communicate, okay? Okay, I'll communicate this. I already have a show prepared and your idea is stupid. Nobody cares about, hey! Anthony, man. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. All right, dog. Get yourself some sit-down, man. In five, four, three. Welcome to the Flex Files. Joining us today out of left field is Anthony Hamilton. So, eh? I hear you're a big sports fan. Well, actually, I'm here to promote my new album. If you don't mind, I'd like to bless the audience with my new single, Coming From Where I'm From. Well, actually, Ant, this is a sports show, and you... <laughs> where, where, I guess I didn't make bell. Got time and a story to tell. Starting when I was nine years old. Woke up, my daddy was gone. I started hustling, they couldn't tell me nothing. Fucking in the hood, trying to be somebody. My soul was on this day. I was searching for something. I try to be good. I tried to Hello? Hey, what do you want now? Living too fast. Hey, you... The barbershop got robbed. <laughs> uh, beautiful song, brother. We'll be right back. Keep saying. <laughs> Remember from where I'm from. I'm from. You took my nails, Dwayne. The good ones. The curved ones with the fake diamonds in them. Ooh, ooh. The Friday night nails. <laughs> now we got curved nails, fake diamonds. We know one thing. The thief had a hoochie girlfriend. <laughs> Put out an APB on all hoochies. Uh, don't worry, Candy. We've got plenty of those fancy nails stuck in my headboard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go home and start pulling them out for you. <laughs> okay, officer, who could have done this? Well, there's no sign of forced entry. <laughs> Looks like the door was left wide open. Oh, that's insane. I mean, who would be stupid enough to leave the door un... Excuse me. Who was in charge of lockup and forgot to do it? Hmm? Come on now, be in the door. All right, that's it. Everybody, break out your chore chart. Oh. Come on, break it out, come on. The irresponsible individual who was supposed to lock up was, uh, oh, uh, what's the sense of finger pointing? Uh, Flex, this says you are the one who's supposed to lock up. Hey, hey, that's finger pointing. When you point one finger, there's three pointing back at you. <laughs> that's true. Yo, that's, that's deep, Flex. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Washington, did you know that your business license has expired? Bu business license? I, I have a business license? <laughs> well, not anymore. It's been expired for six months now. And by law, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to report you to the state inspections department. Oh, come on, you're not gonna shut me down, are you? Look, we can work this out somehow. Uh, have, have you met Candy? What? <laughs> Actually, uh, no. 
I'll tell you what, since I'm such a fan of your show, I'll hold the paperwork back a week. I may be an officer of the law, but I can be a little naughty. <laughs> okay, Candy, now you're responsible for renewing the business license. I don't want to be in charge. Look, I'll give you an extra $50. $50? I can't be bought. I make it 75. Well, at least I can get my cable turned back on at my house. All right, everybody, get to moving, get to moving. Sex in the city, here I come. <laughs> I can't believe you all did not sell one phone hat yesterday at school. It's not our fault, Dwayne. People just don't like our invention. Maybe they just don't like you. <laughs> Dwayne, what's your point? Oh, no, you didn't. Didn't like that, did you? <laughs> What'd you think? I'm a salesman. I'm used to it. <laughs> Look, every one of those no's is like somebody spitting in your face. Right now, the three of you are dripping in saliva. <laughs> Wait, how are we supposed to get someone to buy something they don't want? Brianna, why do you wear that lip gloss? You look like you ate a pork chop without using your hands. <laughs> now, Arden, why do you wear that sweater? Two words, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> and Spirit, baby, just why? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because some advertiser told you to. All right? And that's what you need to do down at your school. See, sales is all about making people think they need something they don't have. I mean, create a frenzy. I mean, you know, get a, some wheels and a trumpet and create a bandwagon. Then we go town to town playing music and selling hats? It's a metaphor, all right? Now go sell some hats so we can get you into a better school. Go on. <laughs> oh, 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 Candy, what are all these people doing here? Well, when I went down to renew the license, they said there were a couple of things that needed to be brought up to code. So since you put me in charge, I'm handling it. <laughs> Look at you handling things. I'm gonna start calling you Handy Candy. Oh. <laughs> you see that? You two need to take notes from her. Hey, Flex, you should see these plans. The shop's gonna look fabulous. I might even start telling people I work here. <laughs> hey, man, Candy's putting in all copper piping, Hunter Douglas ceiling fans, and Mexican tile in the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know they make that in Mexico, right? <laughs> All right, that's, that sounds good and all, but how much is all this going to cost? With materials and labor, a mere $30,000. A mere $30,000? Well, is a mere going to fly down here on his magic carpet and pay for it? Flex, you don't understand. Sweetie, it's Mexican tile. Candy, I put you in charge because I thought as a woman, you could use your feminine wiles to get us a good deal. Not on my cousin. Child, he ain't looked at me like that since I was a kid. <laughs> your cousin is a contractor? All right, you no longer in charge. That's what? it. Look, I have no time for this, y'all. I gotta be to work in 10 minutes. Who am I gonna get to run this place? <coughs> uh, Flex? We, we have a problem. No, no. It's not that bad. Ow, I'm suing. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> Hold on, girl. I've got a call. <laughs> Hello? Okay, Mom, bye. <gasps> you answered it so quickly and so stylishly. Yes, yes, no fumbling through my purse for this, girl. My phone's my hat, and it's all that. <laughs> Ooh, Arnez, you too are rocking the phone hat. <laughs> on the go and you don't have any pockets, this hat is the only way to go. Not to mention, it's a great way to show off your guns. Arnett, catch! Play on, play on. But how much do they cost? Only $6.95, including shipping and handling. Can I borrow yours? No, my sister. You got to get your own. And we're out. Thanks for covering, Scott. Geraldine, sorry. I know I missed my broadcast, but I couldn't help it. It's the barbershop. Things are falling apart. Well, I feel for you, Flex. Which means my medication must be wearing off. Get me my meds! <laughs> Look, Flex, you're gonna have to make a choice, all right? The barbershop or your job? Geraldine, it's not that easy. This barbershop has been in my family for years. My grandfather passed it on to my father. My father passed it on to me, and I'm having a hard time keeping it running. That is so sad. Where are my pills? <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> Geraldine, just give me a few more days. I promise I can juggle through this. Uh, do you understand what I'm going through? This barbershop is my birthright. Yes, it's your birthright. Yeah. You as one more broadcast, I'm putting you back in the field. <laughs> ah, the good people of Pfizer have set me straight once again. <laughs> You guys want now? Uh, rowboats, Flex. <laughs> when I left, the plumber was here. What happened? Oh, it was a money issue. He wanted something, we didn't have any. <laughs> Listen, y'all, my neck is on the line at WYNX. I'm this close to having to cover the Chesapeake tournament again. You guys have any idea what it's like to cover a fish tournament and talk to fishermen? Rewarding. Exciting. No, fishy! <laughs> and I'm not. It's for you. It's your dad. <sighs> hey, Dad. Yet, I know the license has expired. But how did you know the ceiling fell in? <laughs> but, but I'm handling it. But how did you know we got robbed? <laughs> and what? Dad, are you sure you want to do that? All right, okay, it's your decision. All right, bye. Uh, what was that about, Flex? My dad thinks I can't handle managing the shop, so... he's selling the barbershop. What is so funny? Look at this place. Ain't nobody gonna buy it. Hit. We made 500 bucks. Wait, hold on. Let's tell the way we only make 75. <laughs> Tired of cell phones on your waist jabbing you in your side? Ow! Ow! Is that the way? Well, I have a brand new invention and I'm so excited! <laughs> From the brain of Dwayne Odell Knox, I bring you a hat that holds your cell phone. I call it the cell lat. <laughs> and I'm so excited! He ripped us off! <laughs> that rat! Oh, and the first 15 callers get a free pair of drowsers. What? <laughs>